guys, so I picked up some new makeup that I saw at the drugstore and at Ulta, but I ordered some of it. And I thought instead of reviewing some of them individually, I would just do a kind of get ready with me testing out all the new products. So I thought we would just play around with makeup today as I get ready. First thing I was intrigued by, and actually my sister had been asking about this, the Scylla sponge. This is not the one from Molly Cosmetics because um, they've been sold out forever, but I mean it's a silicone little not even a sponge. I don't know how they call it a Scylla sponge. It's a silicone little, I don't know. So I thought we would try and use it today. It's really soft like a boob insert. So this is what Molly's website says about their Scylla sponge. And I was kind of weirded out but I get that it won't waste product but it says the amount of liquid or cream products needed is about half the amount. Spreading the product with it will get some getting used to. Final blending can always be finished with an oval brush or by using a sponge, for example, Beauty Blender. So I guess my question is, why the hell would I use this then if it's literally telling me on the website to go finish it off with the Beauty Blender? But I guess it's just for not wasting product. So we're gonna go ahead and just try and use this. You do need a lot less product with this. So it basically says just move it around. I mean, it just sucks. And then tap it until it blends in. I have used it a couple of times. And I'm not going to say it doesn't work because it does work. But it takes a long time. And it's really hard to hold. It's not easy to hold. You really want to tap it into your skin so that there's no lines. Like, I don't have time to sit here and do this and then get out a beauty blender and then get out all this stuff. I just don't. Honestly, I think this is a waste of time and money because if you don't want to waste product, I mean, it's telling you to just get it on and move the product around so you're not wasting it and then use your beauty blender or makeup brush to blend out the edges. My question is, instead of spending $9 on this, why not just use these things if that's what you're going to do? and just put the product on your face and move it around so it's basically everywhere and then use a brush to blend it out. Why buy a weird silicone sponge that's like hard to hold? I think it's super gimmicky and dumb. And I'm just gonna now blend with my brush, like it says. I think this is crap. All right, I put on my eyebrows, obviously, and um, it's an inner corner concealer because that's not part of the new makeup. Another thing I picked up at Ulta was the Tarte Tartist Pro To Go little mini palette. So I'm gonna first go in with Drive, which is this light shade. Good thing I went in with my other one first because it's not a light, a light enough shade to be an all over shade. All oh, these blend really nicely. I believe this palette was 20. 27 something like that and uh, I love this palette I think it's a good like on the go travel palette or if you just want some really high quality eyeshadows but you kind of stick with the same eyeshadow shade all the time this one you can get two beautiful two or three beautiful looks out of um, these colors I'm gonna go in with style in which is like the purplish gray color. So I'm just darkening up the outer V. I'm only going to be using the matte shadows today, not the shimmer shadows, but it does come with some great shimmer shadows in it. So I definitely, definitely love this palette. I think it's totally worth the 20 bucks because you're getting really great shades, really blendable shades. I love this little palette. The next thing I am really excited to use, I actually already have one of Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. That's a mouthful. And I already have one in Rose Gold Retro. And then I picked up another one in Smoky Storm. And these are fastly, fastly, fastly becoming my favorite eyeshadow glitter. They're just so dang pretty and so easy to work with. I'm gonna swatch them really quick. This is Rose Gold Retro. And this one right here is Smoky Storm. 
I've seen a lot of reviews where they say there's no fallout. I still think there's fallout. I still get glitter all over my face, but it could be how I'm applying it because I like to sheer it out a little bit. I tap it with my finger, so that's probably why um, I'm getting glitter on my face, but there's still super, super, super good shadows. So I will zoom you in while we apply this. So I just kind of Lightly tap it all over my lid just to place the product. Just like to lightly tap it out. And then do the same thing with this shadow. I'm just going to place it with my finger though on this one and not even use the brush. Look how pretty that is. And you can see I did get fallout right here which I will clean up in a minute. But yeah, I think these colors are perfection and I actually don't get a lot of fallout throughout the day. It just is what I like. It actually stays on my lid really well. And so easy to work with. Glitter can be really hard to work with, but luckily these are super, super easy to work with. All right, so I'm gonna give these like a million thumbs up because I think they are just the prettiest things. All right, now that I have my mascara on, I got a sample from Ulta for the Tarte Double Duty Shape Tape Concealer and Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Setting Powder, which I actually don't own any of these, so I thought we would give them a test even though they're samples. All right, I'm gonna use the color Light in the Shape Tape. I heard this was super pigmented, so I don't think I have to use a ton of it. Oh, that's really light. See, I did not think it was going to be that light. I'm kind of curious to see how this will do with uh, dry eyes. Whoa, this is like high, high coverage. I think I may have gone a little bit too light. But that's okay. We'll figure it out. It kind of reminds me a little bit of um, the Urban Decay Naked Skin. Is that what that one's called? We're just going to kind of add some right here to balance out my face a little bit. Okay, so it is a little bit drier. It's not like super drying. I just wouldn't, if you're going to use this and you have dry under eyes, I probably would refrain from using a heavy setting powder. Maybe use a light setting powder, but if you do have dry under eyes, just go really light, cause it, yeah, it's dried down to a complete matte, like powder finish. But now we're gonna go in with setting powder. Just kidding. We really are though. I'm gonna try out this Tarte, cause this was also in it, in the sample pack, this Tarte Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder. And I'm just gonna kinda, Okay, maybe beauty blender's not best. I'm just gonna kind of set my face with it. All right, I mean, it's a setting powder. I'm not in love with it, just because it's obviously a mattifying powder. I don't usually like to matte my skin because I have dry skin, so I usually try and keep it luminous, and that's why you don't usually set at all. I do actually want to try setting between my brows, though, because I'm almost got some lines. I'll just add some right here and make sure the foundation doesn't crease. I really have nothing to say about this. I usually like to use, a, if, I'm gonna, if I am going to set my face, I usually like to use a little bit of a luminizing one. Um, so this could be good, especially if you have oil, oily skin. So I don't know. Maybe try it out. Go get a tester. See if you like it. Yeah, and it set the... I usually set right there because I do have those lines and it set it nicely. So I'm sure it's a nice powder. I just, I'm not one to give a lot of powder advice because I don't wear it. So, okay. So I went ahead and applied bronzer, just my Hula bronzer, which I already have. And now we're going to go in with, um, butter blush from Physicians Formula. It smells like vacation, just like the bronzer does. And I got the color, they had two colors and I got plum rose and I believe they had like a peach shade. Where's the pigmentation? I mean, it's got a little bit, but... I mean, I'm... Powder's going everywhere. I mean, it's definitely putting, but I'm having to go like this. You can see... And it's hardly showing any color. Hmm. 
No, Physician's Formula. Why you fail me? I love the Butter Bronzer line. I mean, you can definitely get color and build it up. Like, you can see I've got a slight color there, but... Swirl, 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 swirl. That is not very pigmented. Look at that. Is it just this color? Let me try some more. Guys, I'm gonna have to say no for this one. I mean, you can build it up, but why use so much product? That means you're just gonna run out of it that much faster if you have to swirl your brush in that many times to use it. Dang it, because I really like their bronzer in this line, and I love the smell, and I usually love Physicians Formula, but this one, I'm not sure about the other shade, but this shade Plum Rose has very little pigmentation, and you're gonna have to use a lot of the product to build it up, so I'm gonna say that one is a flop. Okay, next, I'm excited about this one. I don't know if this is new, but it's new to me. Uh, the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. I believe this was around $5. Look at how pretty. And it's a big highlighter. Like, you get a generous amount. I really hope this one works. What should I use? I'm going to use my Morphe R36. Oh, it's very powdery. Ooh, okay. Oh, wow. This is really pigmented. Ooh, I got a little bit too much. Ooh, it doesn't have glitter in it. It's just got that nice um, glow from within. You guys see that? I'm not big on, like, the glittery one. And I feel like this one just gives you that perfect glowing I really like this. What is this one called? Number 10, Be My Highlight. I always like to set my highlight with my Wet Beauty Blender. I feel like it just really sets it in and gives it a little bit of that wet look that I love. But dang, Essence, I like it a lot. So Essence, Be My Highlight is good. Okay, and last but not least, I'm going to use a lipstick that I actually bought a while ago but I haven't even used. It's one of the MAC Mariah Carey lipsticks in the color Darling. I've swatched it but I haven't actually put it on my lips and I love it because it has this little butterfly etched into the side which I think is so so pretty. I'm a little worried this can be too light for my lips but we're gonna try it anyways. It's a very, very nude, which I don't have one that's this nude. So I kind of like it because I like to top those kind of colors off with a nice sheer lip color or lip gloss. A little bit of this Stila lip gloss. Do you know what color it's in? Oh, apricot. Because this is actually a really sheer lip gloss. So what I like to do is just add it on the edges. Come on. Come out, product. I like to just add just a touch so it gives it a smidge of color. Yeah, so that's it, right? So that's all the product I got. So we only have two duds, which is this and the Scylla sponge that I threw back there somewhere. And I really, really, really love the Shape Tape concealer. I'm gonna get, go actually get a full size. I love the highlight. I love the glitters and the palette and I do like the lipstick because the packaging is just glittery and pretty so all in all it was actually a pretty good try on I actually really really liked it because I liked most of the stuff um yeah I hope you guys liked this I know it was a little different kind of just get ready with me trying new products I hope you guys liked this and stay tuned for the beauty blender video it will come up I just have to reorder the sponge that my dog destroyed and yeah, so that will be up soon. But yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.